She weighs 20 tons. She's 60 feet long and has been hiding at the bottom of the ocean for 70 million years. The largest white shark known to man is hungry and no one is safe in the water. That's the premise of a new Jurassic Shark adventure thriller called Meg, an action-packed novel by first-time author Steve Alton. Steve, good morning to you. Good morning. This, the story is great. It is a terrific summer page turner. Before we get to the plot, though, and the premise, your story is also great. This is really a rags-to-riches story. Tell me what you were doing when you found out this book had been purchased. Well, like a lot of families, our family is going through some tough financial times. In fact, over the last seven years, I've been a self-employed salesman working door-to-door, uh, -door, trying to make a living, and um, uh, times were very tough. You also worked in a meatpacking plant, and I understand through downsizing, corporate downsizing, you've been laid off from that job. Yeah, in fact, it was on September, Friday the 13th of all days that I went into work to find, off, to find out I was laid off, and uh, we had about $48 in the bank, the rent hadn't been paid, and four days later, my manager, Ken Atchity, I got this great two-book deal with Dan Doubleday. Now you, you're very modest there. You go a two-book deal. Let's just talk $2.1 million or something for the two books, and then you sell the movie rights to the book for another million dollars. To Disney Pictures, that's correct. Not a bad little turn of events, I would say, huh? Uh, it uh, certainly helped out with the rent. Let's talk about how long you've been writing this book. You would, you would start writing at 10 o'clock at night, write till 4 in the morning, then get up to, to work at the job you were talking about. How long did it take you to write the book? It took me over a year, although I've been uh, researching megalodons for probably the last 10 years. Uh, megalodons, for people who don't know what we're talking about, describe what a megalodon is and why did they capture your attention? Well, Meg is short for Carcharodon megalodon, the 60-foot prehistoric cousin to the great white shark. And to give you an idea how large these creatures were, they were the most vicious predator ever to inhabit the planet. They were, uh, imagine uh, an 18-wheeler with teeth. And I actually brought something in this morning to give you an idea how large they were. This is the great white shark tooth uh, from a specimen about 12 to 15 feet long. And this is its prehistoric cousin, Parcaridon megalodon. So while this is a novel, this is fiction, we're talking about a creature that actually existed 70 million years ago. That's correct. Now, now tell me what the, the premise of the book is. You have a hero in the book, and his name is Jonas, Jonas Taylor. And what happens to him? Well, Jonas Taylor is a deep-sea submersible pilot turned paleontologist when he accidentally ran into one of these creatures in the Mariana Trench, which is an area in the ocean about seven miles deep in the western Pacific. And it's an area of warm water that is covered on top by areas of colder water, so these creatures stay down there. That's correct. Uh, in the paleo world, the disappearance of the megalodon is kind of a mystery. Uh, we believe that about two million years ago they disappeared because of the colder ocean temperatures, but at the very bottom, there are hypothermal vents which uh, superheat the bottom water. So Jonas Taylor, during one expedition, goes down there. He sees one of these creatures, and in his rush to get out of there, he surfaces it too quickly, costs the lives of some people. That's correct. All right, now he decides to go back to prove his credibility that there are creatures like this down here, and that's where the troubles begin. And unfortunately to him, through man's intervention, one of the creatures manages to surface, and it's in a brand new environment with lots of things to prey on. That it's a it's a novel. This is fiction. Do you sit here today and say to people who may be heading to the beaches this summer and maybe holding your book in their hand when they go to the beaches that one of these things could possibly still exist way down there in that trench? Uh, all I would say is that I wouldn't want to go down in the Mariana Trench to find it. But, but is that the author and marketer talking, or is that the person who's done careful, extensive research believing that it could possibly happen? Well, everything in the book is based upon scientific facts, so it's very possible the thing about the Mariana Trench is that we know more about distant galaxies than we do about this 1,500-mile gorge at the bottom of the ocean. And if one of these things does exist down there, for example, in the book, when, when she, Meg, if you want to call her she in this, breaks loose of that trench, a lot of people become lunch. Isn't that correct to say? If you run into the Meg, there's a good chance you're going to be eaten, although it's really pursuing whales as its primary food. Now that you've done this, you've written this book, this is kind of ripe for a sequel, isn't it? I don't want to give anything away at the end of the book, but you could easily write another Meg book, couldn't you? Uh, there probably will be a sequel. And uh, uh, right now I'm just finishing up my second book called The Sire, which is also a fast-paced action thriller that deals with the Mayan doomsday prediction that the year will end in the year 2012. When you look back at the last year or so and you, and you realize you went from 48 bucks in the bank to a multi-million dollar book deal and a movie deal, how do you feel? Well, I feel very relieved, most of all, that I can walk into a, a local grocery store and not have my checks bound. <laughs> you certainly won't have that worry for a while. Steve Alton, good luck to you. Thank you.
We're back in a moment. This is today on NBC.